bless you. Well, we're approaching that time in which tornadoes become frequent and often have been frequent here. When the original settlers first came, they came to Great Bend and drove down here. It was an unoccupied area and it was owned, claimed by the Indians still. But anyway, as they approached six miles north of town, they knelt and William Bickerton offered a prayer that this place might be a settlement for the saints and that there would, there would never be, he prayed, be a destruction here so long as there were a group of saints continuing to live here. Well, that has, that has been true and, and it's very quite interesting. Okay, let us look unto the Lord for a moment. Our dear Heavenly Father, as this meeting begins to commence, we ask, dear Heavenly Father, that you would bless all the discussions and all of the uh, efforts that are being made to fulfill business, the business at hand and that the decisions that are made will likely be those of value which will follow for the benefit of all. We thank Thee for the past, as we just mentioned, the past freedom from uh, destructive uh, conditions, especially tornadoes and other forms likewise. And we ask that you would be with us as we begin this new, new season in which many have experienced very serious disasters. And this we ask in Jesus' name, our Lord and Redeemer. Amen. Amen. For the students that are here, this past week, the Supreme Court came down with a 5 4 decision that allowed what just happened. That decision said that a prayer at the beginning of a public meeting like this is basically part of our heritage and part of our history, and that it can be done. Now, the problem is the atheists now are going to start making an effort to try to get an atheist prayer at these type of situations. But what you just heard. We were one Supreme Court vote, one Supreme Court member away from not being able to do. I have two additions to the agenda currently in the Appropriation Ordinance 0424 2014 and request to move the Police Department to after elected department. Are there any other additions to the agenda? Second. All in favor? You want me to come up here? Sure. That would be great. As we yeah. continue planning with the master all bikes, which is bike stuff, I have been looking through grant opportunities, and one that I think would be the right timing for us is to get to school. And there's two phases. The first phase you can apply for is just the planning grant, and it's 100% reimbursable. And that just gives you the money to plan for the state's routes to school opportunity. And then from there, we can apply for the phase two, which is 80 20, I believe. So 80% will be matched, and 20% will not be matched. So you have to come up with that 20%. Um, right now, I have the school on board with the applying. For the phase one opportunity and looking into that. And I just wanted to see where you guys were and what you think about looking into the guys as well. I just wanted to pay your interest and I can come back in another week and talk about the other week. The first phase is at one percent grant. I can't see any reason for us not to be supportive and go forward with it. Exactly. Well, we want to grant more. 
safe routes to school. Who are? Safe, safe routes, routes to, school. to school. It's creating safe ways for kids to get from home to schools, designated areas. And it takes care of all the planning. So it's definitely un uh, unlike other grant opportunities, which require you to pay for the planning and then they pay for the construction. So this is a good opportunity to get some planning.
Coding go okay? Yeah, it looks, yeah it looks good. It looks good as good one coat as the other did with two, so that's a plus. <laughs> and it didn't have any big hunks of, of the, you know, the previous coating coming off when we were rolling. We did a lot of hands with the hand grinders and stuff, a lot of extra moving and everything, trying to get a little bit better. So and that, uh, with, that had like a, what, 10 years? No, there's no guarantee. No guarantee. This is just, you know, painting. Here, so we, we had, City say that they got the five to seven years out of it so before they had to recoat. So. Jeff, have you got anything for us? Oh, just, we've been working on a coolant tire for that number five engine. The bottom had rotted out and part of it, and we had to have some metal bent. Uh, it was the least expensive way to go, and we've got it bent. It's in the tower. We set it in and sealed it today. We're going to epoxy coat it, and uh, We'll only have about eleven or twelve hundred dollars in the whole deal compared to Mel had a quote a few years back of seven thousand dollars to fiberglass it and we're gonna have it repaired and back up and going probably by the end of the week. We're doing a little line work in the west end of town, setting some new poles and getting ready to pull some wire and that stuff, but other than that, that's about all I got. Okay. Uh, I would like to uh, request a motion to hire Joe Hathaway for the part time police officer position. At a beginning salary of twelve dollars an hour, and that would be a conditional offer on uh, on continuing on to the academy after passing the psychological screening as well as the uh, physical exam. Do I have a motion? I'll make that motion. Okay. Second. Hire Joe Hathaway, part-time officer, at twelve dollars an hour. I have a second. Second. All in favor? Thank you. Did you have anything else, Chief? Yeah. Um, in December, when we did our financial planning meeting, um, and you guys uh, essentially tasked me with trying to find somebody to, to bid replacement windows for the city building, I've contacted three three contractors here in town, and nobody's interested in doing it, um, mainly because one of them uh, just said that that wasn't in his scope of what he usually does, and the other two are just, just said they're too busy to take that on. So, I don't know if you guys would like me to... I want to go outside the community and look at getting some quotes since we can't find anything inside the community. Sure. Okay. 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 Else wants to do it. Yeah. Okay. That's all I got. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'd like to um, talk to the council about a problem we have over on East First Street. Okay. Uh, Simon's Dogs. Okay, what we need you to do is um, fill out a request to speak and have that in before noon on the 16th and we will put it on the next council meeting so that we can talk about it then. I would like to also say that he's had another litter of puppies, which is not good. Okay. All right, but if you will come and see Jonna in the morning, she will get you set up to speak to the council at yes, the next meeting. Okay? Indeed. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. All right, old business. Have this, everybody had a chance to look at the new job descriptions? Does anybody have any comments or changes? Um, the utility supervisor 
position, we did have to make um, one minor change to the VAT as far as who that position reports to. Um, and that was corrected today, and you should have a new copy. It says on the back there will be one about a uh, about second line down. Uh, driver's license and CDL. Got one. Does everybody have that? Uh, I don't know whether the other guys do. I do. I, don't, I, I haven't ever asked them. So. But I'll sure find out. Well, it looks to me like if we're going to make you have one, then we might. I don't know what good it does. Well, well the, on, the only reason is is because the, the bucket truck has air brakes. So I'll, I'll inquire and I'll have you an answer next meeting. And we would need to check their job descriptions to see if we're part of that. And if we don't, then you won't have a change. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I would think if they go out on state highway, they're going to have to have it. There was a time that uh, the city offered to take care of that. I think Mel was here when we did that. Some of the guys did it, some guys didn't. But I'll, I'll find out and let you know. What is the uh, spending? Limited. What is that? We need to decide. That's now. What is it? As of now. Uh, Julianne told me 2,000. I, I figured that it made sense with it being the electrical department to have it the same as the city superintendent because if there's a major failure. I think probably the largest item I bought was a reel of wire here a while back. It was about thirteen hundred dollars. Normally we wouldn't spend that, but we're getting ready to hang it, and we were way short. So other than that, they're usually not that high. But sometimes when we buy a real of ours. Some of them are over that, but when we do, we'll discuss it. So. But since we're changing the job description, we can do whatever we need to do and whatever you guys are comfortable. Other business? I call for a motion to adjourn. So moved. 